Welcome back to Television 87. Let's jump into it. The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 15, Episode 5. So what I'm going to do is get into like two main themes of this episode. Then toward the end, I'm going to do something called a Fast Five. Where I mention, you know, some things, but I don't want to necessarily get into full detail. So I'm going to just flash them real quick at the end. So make sure you guys stick around for that. So the first thing I really want to get into is Marlo just beefing with everybody okay now we see here it picks up from last week the when everybody is knocking on kenya's door marlo's banging on the door trying to get kenya up okay look she got kenya up kenya was clearly upset like look at sheree's face um you know and and monietta did say that she texted kenya to let them know like hey girl she mentioned it in uh the speak on it with a1 so if you guys haven't seen speak on it on candy's channel go check that out but she did mention hey she tried to give kenya a heads up but the ladies was coming up there anyway and we saw what happened when marlo started cutting up at the door so Marlo is just upset. She's not understanding why Kenya is not really giving them details about what's going on. But Kenya wants it to be a surprise, the halftime show. Which she doesn't really, she doesn't even end up doing anyway. But we'll get into that in a few minutes. But she wants that to be a surprise. So everybody's just kind of like lingering around. So we have that situation right there. They get into the elevator. Now Marlo is going back and forth with with Monietta because since she couldn't get what she wanted from Kenya Kenya slammed the door in her face hey look I'm gonna call the police if you come around here again she starts going at it with Monietta I guess next easiest target to her because that's Kenya's friend so now we get them going back and forth in the elevator then when they come out the elevator Look, y'all can't tell me nothing. Marlo clearly, look at Marlo's hand, okay? Marlo clearly tried to intentionally slam that door in Monietta's face. Because if you're just opening the door, you would just let it fly open. You would kind of like try to hold it open. The way she gripped that door, she was planning to slam it back. But it, she said the door was so daggone heavy which they did bring that up in the end of the episode that her plan did not work but baby monietta was not here for it she was not having that okay so let's just say the night goes a little left so they they go to sleep they get up in the morning it's the day of the big football game but the thing is your girl kenya is rushed to the hospital because she's feeling um you know she's feeling dizzy she's got a little bit of numbness in her arm and she is like she was running a fever like 102 but that's what she tells them here on the facetime so all the ladies get together they say a prayer you know for kenya and um you can kind of see in this scene right here that Monietta is a little bit hesitant. Monietta starts crying because it seeing Kenya in the hospital remind, is reminding her of when her mother passed away um, a few months ago. And that was the last time Monietta said she saw her mom like in the hospital gown. So when she saw Kenya, it just set her off. So Marlo is like jekyll and high because one minute she wants to rip monietta's head off and slam the door in her face the next she's trying to like give her a hug and console her and all this stuff and then pray for the group it's just really really weird but anyway they get through that moment and they're sitting here um at the hotel just talking about um you know trying to like just come together let's you know be on our best behavior let's get it together we don't need to be fighting over this petty nonsense but we also see here that you know courtney is bringing up the issue that sheree has with drew 
oh, you know, how are you and my cousin? Now everything is cousin, cousin, cousin. How are you and my cousin? Y'all good? Sheree's like, look, Drew went on a podcast, said I tried to confiscate all my she by Sheree back at the reunion and none of the girls got anything. And I don't like that comment. So fine. But I feel like this whole Sheree and Drew thing, I feel like they just really trying to make something out of nothing with this. Because I'm like, what? Like, why are we still even talking about them two? But, um... And Drew was another person who was sickly as well. That's why she wasn't even on the trip. But we do see her um, in the episode getting out of the hospital. And Drew, um, I mean, Ralph is picking up Drew from the hospital. And, you know, they're going back home. So now, um, some a scene I didn't even get a snippet for this but Courtney and Sonya they meet up at like this candle crystal shop and they're talking about why Sonya's talking about why Kenya doesn't think that she likes her because she's cool with Marlo yada 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 um see I just breezed right over that I didn't really miss Sonya this episode like it was you know it was all right um and then Sheree goes to visit Kenya at her house um, little Brooklyn comes in, does some karate chop moves, and they're talking about how Kenya just was so stressed and everything just came to a head and she obviously wasn't able to do the performance. You know, that's a missed opportunity for the brand. She's disappointed, but, you know, she'll just just keep going and another opportunity will come along. So now this is what oh <laughs> that was cute when bravo let me tell you something these bravo producers are on it they didn't call charade talking about she not bamming on the door they caught her um in a lie drew said she didn't say everything was confiscated at the reunion that was a lie look production is they catching these girls they are catching these girls um so this is the next theme I wanted to get into. We finally get the conversation with Candy and Mama Joyce. Mama Joyce is coming over to to uh, Candy's house to talk about everything that Mama Joyce said at BravoCon. Um, it was shady. The comments went viral. Like you had an opportunity to say something nice. Why didn't you just do that? Like why can't you just respect me you know me and my husband Todd we about to celebrate nine years like what is it and then Mama Joyce is like oh at first Todd was um more humble and now he's kind of like you know always out just like different yeah, he be in the strip clubs and this that and the third and da 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 so Candy shut all that down was like listen you love your grandkids right you don't want your grandkids to see you know, they grandma dogging out they daddy every other week on, you know, on daggone TV, on the internet. So, like, cut it out. Basically, that's what Candy's saying in a nutshell. Like, you got to let all this go. Todd is my husband, and we going to be husband and wife until we not husband and wife no more you know what i'm saying uh, hopefully until death do us part so get over it and possibly go get a man for yourself so you can leave me and my man alone but candy suggests counseling and uh mama joyce agrees i didn't think she would agree but um do y'all think like it's genuine it's authentic or do you think mama joyce will be back to her old you know ways to her old ways shade and tar whenever she can we'll see what comes of this we shall see um yeah so let me know what you guys think about that did you think candy was firm enough because a lot of times candy will kind of like laugh uncomfortably but a lot of stuff is not really funny um but mama joyce like respectfully needs to just kind of you know fall back all back let me know what you guys think about that scene now here towards the end we get um sheree kenya and drew that's the back of drew head right there at the iv spot talking about um 
what Sheree's telling Drew. Oh, I didn't like what you said about the podcast. Da 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 da. They get through that because it, it's like super petty. Um, but they get through that, and Sheree says, "Oh yeah, I took the stuff back. Um, you know the bag. I had a personal bag um, that wasn't even supposed to be with everything else. So." Yes, I, t I took that back. And Drew was like, dang, I almost got my hands on some Sheba Sheree. But it didn't quite work out. Um, and then they also talk about, again, Marlo having beef with Drew. Because Drew didn't say the word shooting. And wasn't apparently going in on Candy hard enough, you know, to Marlo's liking. So they're discussing that. Um, whole incident now Marlo conveniently left out the part where she got up and was screaming in Drew's face so Drew filled them in on that part um, so yeah let me know what you guys think about this episode let me know what you think about Marlo beefing with, it, with the nearly everybody and let me know what you think about Candy and Mama Joyce. Let me know what you think about this whole Sheree and Drew thing, which is like, I don't know. It's it's silly. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. So let me get into my Fast Five really quick, all right? Here's a few things I want to drop for you guys. Now, production trying to blur out Monetta's AKA was pointless. We saw right through that, okay? Shout out to Monetta. Shout out to the AKA. Shout out to all the Divine Nine, all right? Now, number two, but I just asked this question. Did Mama Joyce put her foot down hard enough with Mama Joyce? Did Candy lay down the law? Number three, Marlo is definitely Jekyll and Hyde for sure. Like I said earlier, number four, Sonya was really not missed this episode. A child Courtney can go to. And do y'all believe uh, Sheree's story about that being her personal bag? Or is she just trying to save face? Let me know what y'all think about this episode, The Fast Five. And if you got another... Uh, little detail or something that I miss you want to drop it down in the comments feel free let's keep the conversation going thank you guys for watching this review if you want to check out more of my Atlanta housewife content I'm going to have two videos right here for you guys and I will talk to y'all in the next one